What's up, guys? We are heading to see Bill Clinton right now. Say hi, guys. Hi. Hello. And guys, this is history for a fucking ass town. This is history. <laughs> this is history for our town because nobody freaking ever comes to this place. Dang. You guys, so freaking cool. What the heck is this? I want to go see the press. I was like, okay. I'm about to have another one. <laughs> For us, because nobody ever comes to my town, so basically, oh, I know some of the dark blue, and they're actually like a really like, like, like green, which aqua green is good. Anyway, that's not the point. So nobody ever comes to Mako because we're like a basically how we call it a ghetto town. Nobody ever comes to. The only thing good that ever came out of this downtown is Edwin James. I don't know, he's some football player from some team here. He's a tired. I don't even know. But anyways, that is like the only thing that has ever been come to this town. Like there have been other things, but like not as big as like a former president coming to our town. And it is such a big old thing because 
most of the population here are undocumented immigrants. Now, my parents personally aren't undocumented. My mom was born in Texas. My dad is from Mexico, but he has his um, papers and stuff, but he's still Mexican. But he can't vote because he's not a citizen. So, he's... It, it's a big thing for me because... Something like this doesn't happen normally here where I live and to be able to actually experience it and go was like oh, sh like amazing was like wow. So basically, um the main reasons um I just wanted to go to go just to see because I thought it would be cool. But then my friends were talking about college tuition and lots of other stuff and I'm just like that's what basically got me interested in it. And I really hope they keep their promise about tuition and healthcare and that sort of stuff because my parents do not make enough money to be able to just say, hey, here's money, go to college. You know, I have to work hard in school to get good grades in order to be able to get scholarships. But yet there, I think the scholarships will not cover my eating expenses, my gasoline, my outing expenses my health expenses and stuff like that, so, for, for, and then not to mention that if I want to go, I have to also get student loans and stuff, and if my tuition were paid for me, that would be, like, the best thing that could happen, so, if they actually do that, that would be really just, yes, like, go for it. Because that would be a, short, a, a weight lifted off my shoulder and maybe a weight lifted off my parents' shoulder. Because my parents are like really. They aren't young. My parents are 50, 60. So it's just like, wow. My parents are going to be much older. And. Able to work harder as hard as they are, so for my tuition to actually be paid, that would be pretty neat. But yeah, so mainly you will probably hear the news that Bill Clinton came to my town and Love how the media likes to twist words and make it seem like oh my God, it's the end of the world if it's going to mock me. Like, okay. But yeah, guys, I am not really into politics because I'm not I'm 16, I'm not even an age yet to go. But I don't want somebody in office who makes fun of my parents. Because even though my mom is American, she's white. She still had to work in the fields to be able to support her family because my grandparents, she is of Mexican descent from my grandparents, but she is not Mexican because she was born here and her grandparents, my grandparents were born here. So, and I don't want somebody who wants to make the rich people seem most important, basically. So, yeah, I don't want to make this video any much longer than it already is. Um, but yeah guys, um, let me see what you guys, what my question today is, comment down below, um, if you guys have ever met anybody important, or important to you personally, or just important in general, and I will see you guys in my next video, hopefully I will have a video up by the end of the week, I won't make any comments because school has been hectic, and then Friday I have a cross meet, interest me and I have just so much coming up this week and yeah so I'm gonna go and finish my lab report lab report lab report which I procrastinated a lot and I will see you guys in another video remember stay here stay you and have a wonderful whatever evening night day bye it's better when it feels wrong